everyone an easy summer makeup look today. Although really it should just be called things that I want to try on camera um, that I haven't tried already because I've got a backlog of things because I haven't done a makeup video for ages and I really want to try them. Let's try them on my face video. So starting off with just a little note about gradual tanners. I know that I've gone on about this so much, this Hylamide um, Glow, the Radiance Booster. And so I went back to a couple of other options just to give them a try. And you know, they're really, really good, like the James Reed um, Sleep Mask Tan and the Gradual Drops from Clarins, both really nice. But I've just found that these have just been the easiest to use. Um, I just put a few drops into my hands, splash it on a bit like a kind of liquidy serum and then in with my serum and moisturiser. I don't mix it with anything. And I just find that it's so gradual that I don't get any mishaps whatsoever. I mean, even with some of the most gradual, gradual tans, you might get a little bit of colour around the hairline or something like that. I just don't get that with this. So that's my first sort of glowy, summery step, really. Because I think that if your skin's prepped nicely like that, I haven't actually used this in a few days, so it's sort of faded out a bit really. Um, but when it's full throttle, I don't need very much makeup at all, which is great. Uh, and another rediscovery, something that I've been using loads, the Estee Lauder Daywear. I don't know whether you've tried this. It's basically um, a moisturizer that's got these little granuly bead things in. And when you rub it in, they give colour to your skin and it's a sort of um, one shade fits all type of product this one unless you're very 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 fair in which case it might be a little bit too warm for you I don't know if you're very fair and you've used this let me know what you think I'm trying my mirror doesn't come until Monday um, so I'm trying to do this through the screen of my camera so yeah, every time I've worn this um, Estee Lauder stuff, people have commented, well people, three people at the mum and baby group, commented about um, how I looked like I'd been on holiday. Do I look like I've been on holiday? It's just a little bit glowy and bronzy I suppose, which is what this video is all about. But I am going to go in, I mean you can just wear this as a tinted moisturiser or you can put foundation on the top. I am going to go in um, with a foundation because, mainly because I wasn't actually going to put this on and I've just spoiled everything. Um, but also because I want to show you the uh, Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation from Becca which I really like. It's quite lightweight, um, but recently I've felt the need to go back to dewier kind of stuff. Um, that looks fresh on the skin and lovely. This comes with a teat pipette type thing, which I hate, I hate it. Bobbi Brown have a similar um, serum foundation, which I love, but I hate the packaging as well. Um, it's a good job it's a nice foundation, otherwise I'd be very cross, because I can't be faffing around with teat pipettes. Reminds me of A-level chemistry, for a start. Um, and I just don't think that it's the easiest way to apply a foundation. I mean, they must have a reason for it, but I do not know what that reason is. So this is just a juicy, gorgeous... Oh, I forgot to do my other step! I was going to put the glow primer on from Dior. Oh well. I don't really need it, do I? I'm really messing this video up, sorry. Uh, juicy, gorgeous foundation. I'm using shade light which is just about the right colour for me. I could probably mix a bit of medium in and it would look even better, but um, I'm not going to. Let's plop a bit of concealer on. Uh, another Estee Lauder thing. I've used this for years. This is a long-standing favourite. This is the Double Wear Stay In Place Concealer. And I've been cracking this out on a regular basis recently. This is light medium, uh, shade number two, because I've been so tired. I think I've been more tired than I even was when I'd first given birth. I mean, the kind of tired where you just need to collapse. Luckily, touch wood, so far I haven't um, come down with anything. Normally when I'm really tired, I get ill. I've got a bit of a sore throat. 
but I'm hoping that's just going nowhere. So keeping it all very fresh and dewy, I'm trying not to use any powders. When I was at Cannes last week, the makeup artist used this on me, which I don't know whether it's out yet, I'll have to have a check. It's the L'Oreal Paris Glam Bronze Cushion de Soleil. And it's sort of like one of those, um, I've got two products that are a little bit like this actually today. It's like one of those um, cushion foundations look, except it's bronzy. Um, and you're supposed to use this sponge and pat it on. I'll show you how that looks when I do that. I've got to get rid of this hair. You know when you've got a hair from a... I don't even know what it's from. But it's stuck to your face and you can't see where it is. So what you're supposed to do is pat, pat, pat this. Like so. But I actually find buffing it in with my um, foundation brush works a little bit better. Really neatly done there, Ruth. Bravo. So that is all I'm doing on the skin. I am gonna show you this Glow Maximizer though, because that was supposed to go on underneath my foundation. Dior, somebody said that this was being discontinued. It better not be, because I'll be really cross, because this is so, so glowy. Now, it's a primer, so it's slightly less glowy than maybe some of these standalone illuminators you get, but I have to be honest, if it's just everyday use, I think a lot of these illuminators are too much. Um, you know, all of these really dramatic makeup looks, they look great on Instagram when people are doing them and doing these transformations. But for the average person who's just going out to the shops or, you know, on the tube to work or what have you, I just, I don't know, I, I just think it's too much. That's just me, you know, some people love to wear a lot, a lot, a lot of makeup. But um, I suppose I'm just not one of those people, really. It's a bit down the centre of the nose. Cupid's bow. And then I'm going to blend that in in a second. Goodness, we don't want it on the end of my nose, that's for sure. That doesn't need any help with catching the light. <laughs> Onto the eyes. And another product that's got one of these lip mesh kind of things. I have never used this brand before, but this landed in my PO box and I thought it was brilliant. It's pure, pure makeup and it's called the Eye Polish Base and Top Coat and it's in shade Silk. I'm really into these one shade, one coat eye things at the moment, like cream shadows and stuff that you just put the entire way across the lid. I think it's a really nice and easy way of wearing um, colour on your lids. So you could apply this with your fingertips, but I'm just using a brush. Because sometimes it can be a bit messy. And then using my fingertip to blend that out, it sets really quickly. Just blending that so it's a soft, beautiful wash of color. And then there's no complicated blending or anything like that, which I love. So it's just really, really easy low-key summer eyes. I'm just going to do my eyebrows before I forget and I might use a bit of liner. I've been wanting to test this liner for ages. It's the Marc Jacobs um, Highliner Gel Eye Crayon and what shade is this? Rococo 48. I just thought it was a very nice brightening sort of shade. Taking that into the waterline and then slightly underneath and then Real Techniques smudge brush oh this eye pencil has got the nicest consistency really gorgeous really 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 gorgeous nice and smudgeable Smudgeable work. It must be, mustn't it? Sorry, I feel like I haven't looked at you very much in this video, have I? I'm a bit out of practice with my old beauty videos. So I've been gallivanting around France and whatever else I've been doing. 
smudge that with a smudger brush. Oh, it smudges so nicely. Oh, okay. This shoots to my favourites list in terms of eye crayons. And then I want to wear a brown mascara. In with that, right into the lashes. I can't tell you how much I like the eye pencil. Really impressed with that. And this mascara is lovely. I and mean, we oh, got everything, everything that I've used today. And then finishing off with some lips. Oh no, I haven't done the bit in the corner of my eye. Hold on a second. Um, I did a makeup video with Caroline Barnes, who's an amazing makeup artist, a few months ago. You probably saw it. Makeup for Tired Faces. And she used this um, masterpiece precision eyeshadow in the very corner of my eye. I wonder if she just kind of bounced it like this. That works quite well doing that. Um, <clears throat> just to wake the eyes up a little bit, really. There we go. And then lipstick. I'm going to use one of these new ones from YSL, the new matte ones that they've um, just launched. This is shade 218. Oh, that doesn't actually feel matte going on. That sort of feels juicy. Oh, no. It's drying in something more matte. I like that shade. That is not a shade that I would normally wear, is it? Lovely though. So there we go. Quick and easy summer makeup look. Lots of nice new products. Really, it was all about testing stuff out, but that doesn't sound as good in the title, does it? Um, make sure you like and subscribe if you can be bothered. And there's lots of more beauty stuff on my website every day, so I'll put the link to that below. Uh, and I shall see you in the next video.